The first thing you'll need to do when you are going to sew a dart is you need to mark the dart on your piece of fabric. So I'm laying my pattern piece with the dart on top of my fabric pattern piece and lining it perfectly. And then I mark the end of the dart legs with pins, one on each side. And then I'm going to put a pin right at the very tip of the dart, carefully put it in so it's in the right place. I'm making sure it's all flat and smooth. So I put the pin right there at the point so that I have three places that I'm gonna mark so that I can get the um, dart marked in the right place. Now that I have my three pins in place, you can see them from the back of the fabric. One, two, three. I'm going to use a washable fabric marker to mark these three points. So I mark the tip carefully. This marker kind of puts out a lot of ink, so I have to do really small spots. And then I mark one dart leg and the other dart leg with the washable fabric marker. Then I take out the pins and remove the pattern piece, put it aside, and I use a ruler and my washable fabric marker to draw a straight line from the point to the end of the dart leg. And I'm gonna do both of them. Sometimes darts are not straight. They have like a seam allowance that bends, so you might have to mark more than three places, but this is a, um, a simplified version. Before we move on, I wanted to show you one other way that I like to mark darts. If I have a darker fabric that the washable fabric marker won't use or won't work with, I like to use Taylor's chalk. It's kind of like a waxy chalk that um, disappears when ironed. So I'm taking the three pins out and I just marked the three points with the Taylor's chalk and now I'm drawing the dart legs with the ruler and the Taylor's chalk. And that's a great way for dark fabrics. Once you have the dart legs marked and the tip, fold it in half at the tip and match up the ends of the dart legs. Pin that in place, make sure they're perfectly lined up and that the point is at on the fold and pin your pattern so that the dart legs are matching the whole way. I'm using three pins on this short dart. Now I'm showing you the same thing with the blue fabric and the Taylor's chalk. I match up the dart legs and I make sure it's folded on the point. And I use three pins to pin that fold in place. You really want those dart legs to match up perfectly. Now I'm going to show you how to sew a straight line along those two dart legs that are matched up. I have a regular foot in my sewing machine and my thread and sewing machine needle match up the type of fabric I'm using. So I start at the end of a dart leg and I backstitch and then I'm going to sew a straight line along the dart leg. I can see the blue fabric washable fabric marker line that I drew and that's what I'm following. And I carefully sew so that it's straight. Once you get to the point 
it's very, very, very important that you do not backstitch. You sew until you sew right off the edge of the fabric, lift your foot, and pull out, but leave a long thread tail so that you can tie it off later. There's my long thread tail. Now I take those long thread tails. You can, it's hard to see them against the blue, but take those two thread tails and tie them in a square knot. I like to, when I'm tying a square knot, I do right side over the left side and then left side over the right side. And that's how you tie a square knot. And I don't cut the thread tails, I leave them long so that they will, the thread will not be pulled out. An important part of sewing a dart is to press it correctly. So I fold it in half, just like how it was pinned, and I iron that crease really, really nicely. Then I open the pattern piece, and I should be using a tailor's ham, but I don't have one. I use the end of this small ironing board and put the tip right against the curve and the dart should go towards the inside of the garment or the center and then I iron it to one side. As you can see here, the dart is pressed towards the center front of the garment and this is the same with tops, pants, anything. If your dart is horizontal, then the dart should go down towards. I sewed two darts in the blue fabric, one with a knot and one I backstitched at the point. And when you open it, you can't really see that I backstitched one and tied one, but if you feel it with your finger, you could definitely feel that the backstitched dart at the point is much bulkier than the other one, and I'd rather have less bulk at the point of my dart. Tell me in the comments how you feel about sewing darts and give me a follow. Thank you for watching.